And then the third chapter of the book talked about in, in a paragraph or in some words, define how you want to live your life. And that's when I came up with my six Ps. The six Ps are these. Is the first P is everything I do in life has to have a purpose greater than myself, right? It has to have meaning. You know, the widget maker making a widget that goes into a printing press that, and the company delivers a magazine or a newspaper to, to inform or entertain somebody. So I have to make that connection, a purpose greater than myself. If I have that, then I might as well be passionate about it. So I don't want to be just on a line making widgets and not really feel great about what I'm doing. And I want to be passionate, even if it's just making widgets. I want to be excited, enthusiastic about making those widgets. And so, and that's passion. Then the next P is persistence. You know, in the, in the, in the river of life, there are rocks. And we don't know where the rocks are. And every once in a while, we smack into one. You know, it may be a rock that somebody has put there. You know, that, and maybe a rock that just was buried, you know, just under the surface of the water. And we go, boom, like that. And we have to figure out in life how to get over, under, around, or through those rocks. Mm. Or change our course. And that's persistence. We're still on persistence. That's persistence. Yeah, that's persistence. Any, I'll tell you the one th word that I would describe every entrepreneur that I've ever known, persistence. That would be it. I love that. They are persistent. Then the fourth P is patience. And you'd say persistence and patience, aren't those opposites of each other? How do those go together? Well, they do because uh, persistence doesn't mean that you aren't patient about your journey. Sometimes you hit that rock, you know, and if you jump out of the boat because you think that's the reaction that you need to do, you know, that old no stressful situations, only stressful responses, the stressful responses jump out of the boat. When you might be just patient because the, the, the current will take you around that rock. Yes. And so sometimes you just have to be patient with but your journey. And most important person you have to be patient with is yourself. Yeah. And if you're playing the long game, which I, I, I hope most people are, if you're playing the long game. Well, guess what? The long game takes time. You have to. Yeah, the long game takes time. time. Yeah. Exactly. Starbucks wasn't successful right yeah. out of the gate. You know, Howard Bihar certainly wasn't. You know, mm -hmm. you're talking to a guy that barely got out of high school, I had two years of community college. My best subject was beer when I started, and I, I became an aficionado of single malt scotches by the time <laughs> I left junior college, community college. So, you know, it, took, it was a journey for me of finding my way, believing in myself, learning lessons, learning what worked, what didn't work, et cetera, trying to decide who I was, how that was going to inform what I did with my life. So then the fifth P is performance. That's one thing. Human beings don't like to be measured. You know, we just don't. You know, uh, teachers don't want to be measured. You know, they want to measure their students, but they don't want to measure themselves. Uh, sometimes business leaders don't want to be measured. People hate performance reviews, right? Mm -hmm. And I can understand why, because they're always somewhere in the future about talking about the past when real performance review is in the moment. Yes. Yeah, yes. right? Not, not somewhere out in the future. And it's, you're not talking about the past, you're talking about now. And so, uh, you know, performance matters. If your responsibility at home is to take out the garbage, then you damn well better be taking out the garbage. If you're, if you're married and you have a, a commit to a monogamous relationship, then that means you have a monogamous relationship. That's performance. If you commit to your boss to get something done at a certain time, that's performance. If you commit to, to making you know, your budget, that's performance. Now, we don't always uh, get done what we say we're going to get done. And the, the key to it is to making sure that we're letting the people that we might disappoint early in that journey. I might not make this happen. Or, honey, I'll get to the garbage later. I just can't get it done. I'm in a hurry. You know, whatever it happens to be. So performance is the fifth one. Then the sixth P is people. Everything we do in life is about people. It goes back to the idea that there's nothing we do in life that isn't about serving people. So those are my six P's. And then my mission statement I gave you already, but it's to nurture and inspire the human spirit every day, beginning with myself first and then others. The reason why I say self first is what I've learned in life after living for almost 76 years is that if you're not okay with you, very difficult to do something for somebody else. Mm, man, I love this. And again, those six P's, uh, starting with A, purpose, two, passion, uh, three, persistence, four, patience, five, performance, and six, people thank you and what are those six p's just one more time like you just call them the gen the general six p's or no they're they're how i live my life i love it they're, they're the, there's how i do things
If you enjoyed this video, please help us out. You can do it by liking, sharing, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon. It really helps out. And don't forget, there's a complete archive of every episode with show notes at restaurantunstoppable.com.